This company really put the art on seven artisans. Hey guys, Gabi here from Ray Studios and today I'm going to be reviewing the 28mm f1.4 from Seven Artisans and I have it together with the close-up focus adapter and I'm using the Japanese Leica, that means the Sigma FP and that's because I wanted to get the opportunity to also review this adapter that is really unique and special, more on that later. So I'm here with my friend Alex, uh, he's going to be helping me modeling uh, as I need to take some pictures for the, the new bike that I'm going to be reviewing very soon, the Sur Panda UL100 Plus Limited Edition. All right, guys, let's get to it. Okay, you can see we don't have too much room between me and my subject, and that's why a 28 millimeter focal lens becomes very useful. It is wide enough that I can get the whole bike and the subject, at least most of it from this distance, while at the same time, uh, I can emphasize on the subject by being a pretty uh, fast aperture, it's a f1.4, so I can still knock the background out a little bit. Um, yeah, it's, it's a very, very useful focal lens. And you can see, if I give one step back, I, I will literally, it will literally be my last step. So I need to be careful here. So I'm shooting with my subject between me and the main source of light. So the sun is over there. It's kind of getting cloudy, so not much sun. But the idea here is to see how much chromatic aberration. I'm shooting wide open at f1.4. Most of the time I will shoot at f1.4 to maybe f2.8, but right now it's f1.4. Um, we can see that there is a lot of detail from the trees and the bike and the, and the model. So we can see how much chromatic aberration. And I can tell you right now, just touching from the screen, that there is a little bit of purple fringing especially on the head of the model and a little bit around the trees. But generally speaking, not bad, really not bad. So if you may have noticed that it looks like I never actually taken a picture, that's because my chroma assistant was covering a meditation center, was taking pictures from a meditation center, he set it up to uh, silent mode. There's absolutely no noise, I mean, literally nothing. Uh, that's pretty common with uh, most mirrorless cameras, but this particular mirrorless camera, it doesn't have a shutter, it's all electronic. So even if I set it to noise, like now, that's an electronic noise. So yeah, super quiet, and the focus is fully manual, so yeah quiet and discreet and this is a lens that goes with that. It's a small, discreet and looks really beautiful. Check this out. We were at a forest and the mosquitoes were literally having a feast on us. I mean I have mosquito bites all over my legs and arms and especially Michael. Michael is very sensitive to mosquito bites. So we moved to a new location. Here is a lot more crowded but I like the light probably because it's getting very cloudy and the light, the light is very even. Um, we are near a temple, so it's kind of nice. Uh, you can see Alex here is already waiting for me, posing. Uh, he's right in front of the e-bike Buddha, the e-bike God. This protects everyone from the... <laughs> all the e-bikers get protected from that guy. That kind of looks like you, uh, Alex. Same beard, same hair. Yeah. Okay, let me get quickly a picture. This lens have a minimal focus distance of 70 centimeters, which for a 28 millimeter lens, that is not particularly good. So if you're shooting uh, with a Leica camera, so you're mounting this lens directly into a Leica M mount, so Leica camera, um, you're not gonna be able to get very close to your subject. But if you mount it on another camera that is not Leica, like in this case, my Sigma SP or Canon EOS R, you can use this adapter that come on multiple mounts. And it's extremely beautiful, very slim, and allow you to get really close to your subject and you can just twist this ring around and you can get into infinite. Like for example, I can show you a picture of this beautiful landscape. Right. 
So this is what you get here in China. Free live music with the runners and a beautiful sunset. Look at this. Can't complain, eh? I mean, with a sunset like this, you don't need payment, right? Yeah, that's it, that's it. I'm gonna go for a silhouette. And that's about it because I ran out of batteries on this one. So, switching out the battery and be right back. Later that same evening. I have to run to an event later that day. It was the opening of a cosmetic surgery clinic. I get to meet a lot of women that they used to look a lot different. And this gave me a great opportunity to test this camera and this lens in low light. Today we got a new model, beautiful Vicky. Uh, as you can see, the models keep getting better. Weather is also better. Even so, they say there might be a typhoon. But there's nothing to worry about because I, uh, this lens, this 7 Artisans 20mm f1.4, is built like a tank. I don't think it's weatherproof, but yeah, yeah, probably won't survive a typhoon. Anyways, I'm gonna take some nice pictures of Vicky here. And what I'm gonna try out now is shooting at, at a relatively high aperture, something like f8, and then yet again at f1.4. So we cannot get the whole road behind her. I'm also gonna knock the road behind her and see how which one I like the most. Let's try that out. Okay, change the pose. Okay, maybe put two hands on the handle. There you go. Even so, the light today is quite even because it's very cloudy. The main source of light, which is the sun, which is right there, is right behind my subject, which is a good test to see if the contrast decreases and also to see if there is any chromatic aberration. So let's see how that looks like. Doesn't matter, <laughs> just acting. Okay, one, two, three, go. Yeah. All right, guys, I just finished editing all the pictures that I shot with this lens. And I'm gonna say I am very impressed. So wide open, this lens is actually very sharp, especially in the center. It is just at the very edge of the frame, especially on the corners of your images, that you're gonna see some hints of softness, but it's not alarming by any means. One thing that I could criticize about this lens is that the vignetting is a little bit strong, especially wide open. So if you are at f1.4, yeah, you will get a lot of vignetting. You step it down to something like f2.8 and it tends to be more manageable. You step down to f4 and yeah, it kind of goes away into a point in which is decent. If you're shooting videos, so, um, you know, I've been using it with the Sigma SP, which is actually a cinema camera. And then, well, that vignetting is not even there. And even if it is a little bit there, well, it kind of looks good, it's cinematic. But for photographers, I would say, yeah, there is vignetting. Um, you know, it's easy to correct on Lightroom anyway. And I kind of like vignetting anyway. So uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that this lens does have a click on the aperture ring. So every time you change one aperture, it will, it will hear the click. So this lens is more oriented to photographers. Even so, I'm more of a filmmaker lately. I mean, doing a lot of video work, but I think for video it's a phenomenal lens. Um, just that clicks on the aperture, but most people will buy this lens to use it with a Leica camera and, and most Leica cameras are, you know, towards photographers, not so much toward filmmakers like me. I like to use it with my Sigma SP. I also have the adapter to use it with the Canon EOS R6. So there are plenty of adapters that you can, you know, use this lens on different cameras. 
Um, like I said before, this is built like a tank. It's, it's kind of heavy for such a little lens. Um, the image is actually pretty good. The bokeh is so nice. The bokeh rendition is very smooth, creamy goodness in your bokeh. And it does have character, it's not just good. So optically speaking, it's pretty good, but at the same time have a bit of character that it makes it look like some old vintage lens but without being distracting in a way so yeah this comes highly recommended in case you want to purchase this lens i will put links in the description down below if you buy from my affiliate links you are going to be helping this channel grow so please do buy from my affiliates and if you have somehow enjoyed this video or you find it somehow informational please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i'm going from ray studios i'll catch up on the next video.